Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Excali Draw all set up using Docker Compose and pretty much explain what it is. Straight away you can probably see what it is. So Excali Draw is a whiteboarding tool pretty much like Draw.io or uh, uh, Visio. Visio is terrible. I hate <laughs> trying to use Visio um, and other tools like that. So it's it's like I said it before. It's kind of it's just web based. You can just access it via a URL if you're self-hosting it. They Excali Draw also just have this here hosted that they host as well that you can use and it's open up to the public. And it's just a really nice whiteboarding tool that I, I like to use for just kind of drawing up and drafting ideas and concepts and. You know, if you work in IT, you'll be familiar with this as just like if you're trying to draft something up or explain a proof of concept or a design that you're trying to do for a project, trying to find a good tool to do that can be a bit of a pain, especially one, if you don't have a Visio license. Two, Draw.io can be all right, but it can also be pretty overkill. Draw.io is something that I have used quite a lot in the past, but when it comes to self-hosting, you know, then I want a tool that I can self-host because it's just what I like to do. So that's where I've discovered Excali Draw. So let's just have a look and have a bit of a play around. So straight away you can see, so this is just something that I've been drafting up. This is um, a quick draft of my home setup. So, you know, at the bottom there, I've got uh, my my servers. So Alzheim, the Tech Doc server and the Electron Cloud server. And then, you know, everything kind of goes through PyHole, WireGuard VPN, and Cloudflare Tunnel. So I've just been drafting this up. This is definitely nowhere near finished. It's just me playing around. And what's quite good about this is that if you're a visual person, drawing your designs up can help you see where the flaws are or if you're, you're you know, duplicating something and you don't need to or something needs to be added or, you know, all of that good stuff. So these tools are fantastic for that. As you can see at the top, they give you a set of icons, and I can go through them all, if, um, but I don't really need to because I think you understand the concept. Um, but, you know, you can create your boxes, you've got your arrows, and you can attach them where you need to and bend them around <laughs> as you not like. But what's cool about this is that, yes, you've got your icons, and you can add your image if you want. So if I wanted to add an image or if you're drafting and, um, you know, you had a mock-up and you're wanting to, you know, critique it or whatever you can insert an image so i've just grabbed one and i can drop it here this is a picture that the international space station took of new zealand which i thought was really cool and then you know you can draw on here you can point arrows you can do all your good stuff right so there's a lot here that they just give you out of the box that you can do you got your eraser all the all the basic stuff but what's really cool about this is that they give you a library and a library allows you to add on additional icons or whatever that other people have worked on. So for example, if I click on the library here and we can go browse libraries, you can see here that there's a whole bunch of libraries that you can add to your uh, Excali Draw setup. So there's the presentation bundle, there's a bullet journal, uh, you've got web icons, and if you're, again, an IT person, they've got all the icons for you. So IT icons, I'm assuming that's just a big bundle of just an assortment of IT goodness. Um, and then you've got the Microsoft 365 icons, um, AWS, there was uh, Kubernetes, there's just, yeah, the Kubernetes here, VMware, you know, you can add all of these packs as well if you want. So let's say I wanted the Kubernetes icon pack, I can just click add to Excali Draw, and they will just pop up on the right there. And now I can drag them as I want, right? So I can drop that one in there. And everything still has this like hand drawn uh, view on it. So when you're grabbing these icon packs, they're not just like, uh, you know, you've, you've got like a this hand-drawn sort of design going on and then you've got really perfect icons over here. No, everything fits this sort of theme, which I find is really cool. So we can grab another one here. So we've got the Kubernetes actual icon. You know, everything has that hand-drawn view and I, I just really like it. Um, and this is, yeah, another reason why I like Escalo Draw as well. It just, it's got like a nice look to it. So to be honest, that's pretty much the the main concept of the tool itself. Now, well, we'll cover the GitHub in a second, which lists the features. Uh, but you'd, I just want to cover because some people might see it and question what it is. On the left here, there's Excali Draw Plus. Now, this is like a paid version, and a lot of these sort of tools have a paid version, but they're mainly uh, targeted for you know corporate users or business users and that want to do uh, online collaboration and stuff. So, if you want to do that there's the option to, to to pay and get a license for Excali Draw Plus. But for self-hosters, home users, and all of that stuff, 
you will be fine just using it like this. Uh, I sure have been. I haven't found or even really had a need to explore what Excalidraw Plus really does outside of the online collaboration because everything seems to be perfect um, how it comes out of the box. So let's jump over there GitHub and we'll have a look at what that looks like. So this is a GitHub, a link into, uh, of this will be in the description. And this just gives like a nice little overview, right? So you can see some sort of ways that they've been working on things and uh, their way of demonstrating it and the key features. So it's free and open source. That canvas where we're drawing everything on is infinite. Uh, I'm assuming it's infinite until you run out of space, but that's, yep, yeah, that's uh, there. So you've got the hand-drawn like style, which I really like, right? And even those dashboard features, uh, sorry, the libraries, you can add them in and they continue to follow that thing. You've got dark mode, uh, which is really important for us <laughs> who don't like light mode. <laughs> You've got the um, the shape library support, localization. You can export all of this to pictures and saving it into your clipboard, of course. And then everything else. You know, you've got the the file format. You can save it as JSON file. Um, the arrow bindings, all of that stuff, right? We've kind of already covered that, so it's not big of a deal to continue um, going there. But but yeah, this is pretty much it, right? Uh, there's really not a whole lot to cover here because it pretty much speaks for itself. So if you're interested in getting Excalibur Draw, there will be a link in the description to my book stack. So this is my book stack here, and pretty much most services that I cover, if I talk about uh, supplying a Docker Compose file, this is where you can find them. So oh, I, I create pages like this, um, where you can you can grab the compose and you can see here it's very straightforward it gives a bit of a description about the tool kind of what's happening in here there's not much to, to describe here because it's not a huge compose file and then there's just the steps on deploying it right so that's all provided for you and that'll be in the description so that is Excalidraw. there is a whole not a whole lot more to discuss when it comes to it right it's very straightforward whiteboarding tool that you know, you can self-host and get sorted with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support that's been uh, happening lately on the channel. Uh, it seems that you guys really love the, the hardware videos. Uh, me talking about the server and stuff like that. It's still going very well. This is, again, the... Uh, where Excel Draw has been hosted right now is on one of those uh, Proxmox VMs. So yeah, it's been it's been really great. The support's been awesome. So a massive thank you to each and one, uh, each and every one of you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, any questions or if you need help with anything, uh, ask in the comments. More than happy to help. And yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.